So what is this about Meghan Markle? I asked you to set her up. Well, yeah, yeah. Meghan Markle. Well, I didn't actually know who Meghan was. I was told to look after her at this um, charity sort of pre-dinner event. And they said, will you look after this girl from, you know, she's from Vancouver, does a bit of acting. I said, who is she? I don't, I'm left with someone I oh, don't yeah, know. She was in suits, wasn't she? Was she was in suits. Really I want to be with my friends. I know. And they said, just sit with her. And do you know what? We got on like a house on fire. She didn't stop talking, loves a drink, loves a gossip and wanted to find a man. Wow. So I was flicking How through long ago phone. was that? Well, it was a couple of years before she met Harry. In fact, I did one of the last interviews with her. And did she, she specifically say a British man? She loved London. She said, I love the way you say darling and babe. <laughs> and, you know, she loved all the sort of English accents and loved the red buses. And it was like typical American. Yeah, sort of yeah. Tourist. And what have I got in common with Meghan Markle? What was that in the in Well, the I'll intro? tell you why. Because she didn't stop talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, sorry, sorry, to, she did not stop. A bit like yourself. I just saw her backstage and I already knew everything that had happened the last two weeks. I was like, OK, absolute <laughs> rubbish. Yeah, but she did, she liked to chat. And she was good company, we got on. But since the contact stopped after Harry, I'm She's very busy at the moment. Very busy. Yeah. Me and Piers Morgan got the old... So, that's hey, it goes. speaking of Piers Morgan, yes. what were you doing? Rifle around his bathroom? No, that was Piers Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't think that's no, I know which one I'd rather rub it around. Well, <laughs> I was going to say, they haven't got much in common. Well, <laughs> they're both quite hairy, actually. Piers is probably the hairiest man I've ever met. Piers Brosnan? Yeah, Piers Brosnan. Oh, that's all right. So I was on the James Bond <laughs> film and um, I was asked to squeeze him to death, try to, with my legs as a body double. I thought, what a part. Oh, wow. Of course, I'll try Who and do that. Body double for Well, it, it was um, one of the other actresses. I can't remember her name. Judy Wrong Dench. Russian name. No, not Judy. <laughs> 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 She's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until after the show. No, it wasn't Judy. <laughs> It wasn't Judy, Denise. So it was one of the girls. famous Russian actresses who I can't remember the name of. I'm very sorry. Anyway, so which I... Which part I, of you was the double? The so below it was the waist just part. below the waist, which was very handy. And um, he, he was um, naked. He had a little kind of little... Well, he wasn't completely naked. But he was like an otter, so hairy. Like, when he jumps in the pool, he wags like a dog afterwards. He's really hairy. <laughs> um, but we got on really well. There was a chemistry. There was a chemistry. What do you mean there was a chemistry? Because you had your legs round Well, too. we got on very well. Yeah. He's Irish. I'm, I'm half Irish, um, great sense of humour. And he asked yeah. me to go in his trailer. He said, look, use it. There's so much hanging around, you know, in filming. You just sit around all day. Yeah. So I said, thank you. So I was showing off a bit because my friend was on set. I said, come on, let's go in James Bond's trailer. So we went in, all these paintings, because he loved art. I went in, I started showing off, saying, I've got James Bond's toothbrush. I started going this. And then suddenly I heard, Elizabeth... What are you doing with my toothbrush? And I turned around, it was Piers. Oh. And I went, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't normally use other people's toothbrushes. But anyway, it's all the funny side. Yeah. Because he is James Bond. Oh, what about, like, I want to know about <clears throat> Piers Morgan. Oh, no, no, nothing between me and Piers Morgan. He's a lovely friend. He's a good friend. He's read my book. Yeah, He said yeah. he didn't stop laughing, so I was very uh, delighted. Uh, but you've but never locked, book, you've never locked him in the, in the boot of your car, but you have done that to somebody else. I did. Poor Mickey Rourke. Well, I was helping Mickey Rourke out of a situation. Yeah. Because we'd g gone to dinner, not just the two of us. Yeah. But suddenly there was all these paparazzis outside and he said, oh, no, I've told my girlfriend I was staying in at the hotel. I'm going to get caught out. So I said, don't worry, my car's out the back. Just jump in and I'll wish you back to the hotel. He was staying at Blake's, my friend's hotel. So um, as we got outside, I went outside the back. Instead, he gets into the boot. He went, I ain't risking nothing. And he got into the boot. And I thought, how the hell? So I just thought, I saw the paps running around the back. So I just jumped in, put my foot down, went a little bit too fast around the bend. Suddenly I see a police car <gasps> behind me. So I'm like, oh no, please. Lord. I say quick prayer, thinking, oh, I'm fine. They said, have you had a drink? I said, no, I haven't. I said, but I am in a I hurry. Do have Mickey Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I had Mickey Rock in the boot. But they said, we've got to wait. I, you know, I've got to wait for you know, his fellow officer to come. We, we need to just test that you haven't had a drink. And I yeah. said, I really haven't. 
And so there was such a long wait. And I kept going near the boot, going, don't worry, we're really... And they were like, what are you doing? Come away from the car. What are you, who are you talking to? I was like, <laughs> I thought I was <laughs> mad. Listen, because you've written lots of stories, it is a great fun read, I have to it say. Is. My dad, Vin, is in love with, with, with Lizzie. I mean, and she flirts with him and she's lo lovely. We're lovely with him. In the <laughs> so obviously he's got the book and, and the, the stories are great. But has anybody come back to you? Because you're quite honest about lots of your yeah. celebrity encounters. Yes. Particularly Danny Cipriani reigniting your fire after your divorce and stuff. Well, yeah, um, Danny, I mean, I've never spoke about this, and the only reason I did actually, the papers got wind of it. But after my marriage, I was in a really bad place. Um, my, my, you know, it was, I was been together for 20 years, and I was in a really bad, dark place. I couldn't lift my head off the pillow. And then, you know, you get a call from a young 21 year old rugby star. <laughs> Who shows an interest and it kind of put a bit of a smile what should we say? Yeah, smile back on my face. Yeah, it was a spring back in my step. And have you upset anybody yet? Has anyone come to you and said they're upset? Well, no, let me just tell you, there were a few saying, please, Lizzie, don't put me in this book, please. But there were others saying, Yeah, put me in. Yeah. But there were others saying, I'll pay you not to put me in. And did but you listen to I them? Did. Or in Look, <laughs> I did. I did, obviously. There was, yeah. I've got very good friends and you know, I've been friends with Simon Cowell for 20 years. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, I, I, I was kind about everyone, but they were the funny tales. I, I wanted to make people laugh. I did Shelley Valentine's show at ITV. Mm. And after that show, people were saying, gosh, we just see you on the red carpet doing these silly poses like a teapot. What are you really about? And I think yeah. after that show, people could see there was more to me. And I thought, you know, I had to reinvent Can myself. Can we return to Mickey Rourke in the car booth? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've had experience of being in a car boot. Have when you? I was yes, I was cheating on my third husband. <laughs> and um, I met my boyfriend at the time in a bar and uh, my husband was already there. To my great shock, I ran out and I couldn't think where to do, so I got in the car boot. <laughs> just like Mickey Rock, but he wasn't in my car boot. Just as... <laughs> I got driven out Hill Gate. <laughs> Janet, what's, what's it like? Because I never got to ask Mickey. Cause... It's very claustrophobic. <laughs> Mickey, well, in your Mickey, car boot Mickey for. was there for a good 40 minutes. 40 but minutes? But thankfully, he'd had a few drinks and fallen asleep. And when I opened the boot, he just got out, jumped out. He went, hey, good night, have a good night. And I thought, well, there you go, that's why you're Hollywood, because he didn't even ask me. He just got out of the boot. <laughs> and I just thought, oh, my God, so Very pleased. Quickly, can you tell us who's the most horrible person you've ever met? OK, I don't like to diss the dirt. Go on, come on. Bruce Willis. Oh! He was so rude to me, but it started off, I said, hello, Brucey, which was the wrong thing to do. He said, don't call me Brucey. Bruce. Yeah, the there's Bruce. only one Bruce we know here. Yeah, yeah. But, um, your card's right. And um, he then said, you tell me about the movie. So I was on the red carpet doing an interview, and he said, you tell me. So I said, great casting. OK, you tell me about the casting. I thought, oh, no, this is not going well. And when I'm nervous or, you know, worried, I start to laugh, which wasn't good. Oh. So I started to giggle and he wasn't happy, but they filmed it all and then now it's used in the blooper shows because it is hilarious. <laughs> but oh, you've got Tom Cruise, who was amazing and says hello to everyone in the pouring rain. He's very tiny, yeah. isn't he? Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> There's I another book. If I met Tom Cruise, I'd be looking down several <laughs> no, Tom Cruise was lovely. Now, you see, I interviewed Tom Cruise, and I don't know if a lot of you know that when they have their premieres, they dart out the exit door. They don't bother to actually watch, watch the, the movie. I've seen it a million times. And I yeah. did the same thing, because I didn't really want to watch it, and my son was hungry. So we darted off to a restaurant, and then suddenly my son said, Mum, there's a guy waving at you. He looks the image of Tom Cruise. <laughs> so I said... <laughs> Really, I didn't have my glasses on. I said, really, right, I'm just going to... You, you save the table. And as I walk along, it is Tom Cruise. But I totally forgot I left my son outside holding the table. Well, I stayed and had dinner with him.